You know, Record Rack's Golden Deer Nuggets, basically it's a irresistible wild berry flavored extruded product that draws deer in. And that's a key thing, drawing them in. You want to be able to attract them, obviously, to any type of a feeding program you've got out there. And we've used the Golden Deer Nuggets in several different applications. Actually mix it with corn in timer feeders where you're throwing it out. Pour it simply on the ground, as well as putting it in uh, mixed bags in some of our free choice feeders like we've got here with this boss buck. And the ultimate goal of that is to be able to, number one, attract and hold deer into an area, but also to, to provide some type of nutritional benefit, and that's what the Golden Deer Nuggets do. Golden Deer Nuggets was something that we came out with, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, and it was a product that was designed to be used in spin cast feeders in place of corn. And we really didn't know what we had when we, when we made it because it's basically extruded rice bran with, a, you know, we balanced that out to hit a protein, energy, and, you know, trace mineral standpoint after that. But deer love rice bran. And once you extrude that and make it more digestible, and then you add the, the different palatability enhancers that we have at Record Rack to it, we wound up with an attractant that was just, I mean, a quantum leap ahead of anything else that's out there. Deer will come through a brick wall to get to that stuff. So, and once you get them on it, you'll actually see deer, if you mix it with corn, they'll pick all the nuggets out before they even pick up the corn. So, just a tremendous attractant that's actually better nutritionally than corn. The deer nuggets are 12% fat, so you're gonna elevate the energy level that's in the feed coming out under spin cast feeder. You know, corn has an inverted calcium phosphorus ratio. It's not really high in energy, it's got a lot of starch in it. Now, we can't sling enough feed out of a spin cast feeder to really affect anything but I don't want to be spinning something out that could possibly cause damage. So what we're, we're actually doing is we're balancing the calcium phosphorus ratio when you mix that, and we're also decreasing the total starch level when you mix some golden deer nuggets in there, all of which are good for those deer nutritionally. It helps them get more out of their habitat when we're not messing with the pH of their gut. But we wanted something that you could feed along with corn through a spin cast feeder that was either better nutritionally and obviously a better attractant, and that's what we got.